And welcome to Black Mountain Middle School for this Presidio Cup Championship game, girls eight and under division. This should be a good battle today. The two teams going at it, the Del Mar Sharks taking on the PQ Express. Let's run down the rosters. For the Del Mar Sharks, coached by Amy Literal. Number two is Jacqueline Putnat. She's a left defender. Number three, Nikita Satatrafai. Number four is Tatum Abadir. Number five is Kat Khaleesi. Number six, Marina Kemper. Number eight is Ali Negroni. Number nine, Sydney McNutt. Number 10 is Maggie Lana. Number 11, Casey McKinnon. Number 12, Lily Wolfenson. Number 13 is Jessica Bacon. And number 20 is Abby Palkowitz. For the PQ Express, number two, Jessica Cohen. Number three, Haley Harbison. Number four is Sydney Scolari. Number five, Presley Wiggins. Number six, Nicole Webb. Number seven is Brittany Webb. Number eight is Danielle Kolowski. Number nine, Carrie Catrombone. Number 10 is Kimmy Stavos. Number 11, Alex Trawler. And number 10, or number 12 rather, is Taylor Hogan. The PQ Express is, is, is coached by Greg Lee. And we will be right back with the opening kickoff. And we are just about ready to get underway here. The Presidio Cup Championship, girls eight and under the Del Mar Sharks in the blue, taking on the PQ Premier in red. And it's the Sharks getting the ball off early. Let's give you a little background here on this. Uh, the Sharks got to this game. They finished fifth place in the league, but they beat the first place team to get here. So they come in kind of on a roll. Greg Lee's team, the PQ Premier, one loss all season, so they're going for the whole ball of wax now. As the action heats up early on, I'm Mark Prescott for George Langevin Productions. Here we go, the ball at midfield. And this is the premier on the attack, number nine, Kerry Catrambone. And that ball's kicked out of bounds by the Sharks. Sydney Scolari with the inbounds, and that ball's quickly knocked out of bounds. Want to get the name right, Kerry Catrambone plays for the Premier. And she will probably be involved in a lot of activity out here today. Again, beautiful day for soccer here in Southern California. 60-something degrees, great day to be playing. The Premier on the attack, but the Sharks looking to clear it. Number 10, Maggie Lana getting it out of there. Ball working its way along the right side. That's Jessica Bacon tiptoeing the sideline with Taylor Hogan. And the Sharks will retain possession on this one. As we said, both these teams kind of coming in on a roll. The Premier with one loss. The Sharks again beating the fifth place team. And there now they find themselves in the championship game. So. You, taking on beating the first place team and now they find themselves in the championship game. And you know what happens in a championship game, anything can happen. Sharks will throw it in. Head coach Amy Literal of the Sharks barking at her team to get it out of the zone. Some action up the left side and again the Sharks will have the possession. Tatum Abadir will throw it in quickly knocked away by the Premier and they're quickly on the break. Nice play by the goalkeeper there. Lily Wolfenson. Keeper change. Casey McKinnon is in the goalkeeper. Casey McKinnon is in as the goalkeeper. And now the Sharks on the run. But the Premier is able to stop them. Maggie Lana at the striker position looking to make something happen. Ball quickly knocked out of bounds. Abby Palkowitz throwing in for the Sharks. A lot of people gathering on the Premier side of the ball here deep in their territory. That's Marina Kemper for the Sharks looking to make something happen. The ball is quickly kicked out of bounds. This looks like it'll be a goal kick. 
Sidney Scolari taking over there with the ball for the Premier. Again, a late minute change for the Sharks. Casey McKinnon is in goal for Lily Wolfenson. And here the Sharks looking to take advantage early. But the Premier quickly get it out of their zone. They've got a three on one break, but quickly to get back. Sydney McNutt, but now. A lot of action now on the Premier side of the field. And now the and now the Premier looking to get on the break. And that ball be knocked out of bounds. Kimmy Stavos inbounding for the Premier. And that's off the number two, Jessica Cohen. She's on a break. She's looking to make something happen. Carrie Catrambone, Catrambone on the left side. Right footed kicker looking to center it. Sharks there on defense. Tatum Abadir trying to clear it to the center, and she does just that. Intercepted by Kimmy Stavo, so the premier. Both teams jockeying for position at midfield. Sharks swarm the ball deep in the corner. Along the sideline, they clear it out of bounds. That will be premier ball. The inbounds once again. The Sharks have a cluster of people down there. Playing very good defense early in this game. Premier trying to work that corner, perhaps trying to center it, but this ball is just going to stay along the sideline. Premier will retain possession. Kimmy Stavos again with the inbounds. You talk, you talk to Coach Greg Lee, and he'll tell you this team is playing very well right now. Only one loss on the season. So they know how to get it done. Be interesting how much offense they have early on in this game. But it appears Delmar Sharks looking defensive minded early. That's a shot on goal that might trickle in there. Nice play though. By Casey McKinnon in at goal. She's kicking it out. Looking for Marina Kemper. Now the ball rolls up to the broadcast booth. Maggie Lana trying to keep it in bounds. She can't. Sydney Scolari with the inbounds. Again, Scolari throwing the pass in. The Sharks all over defensively looking to center it. A.B. Palkowitz looking in the center, finding Maggie Lana, who's got some space out there, but she's quickly swarmed under. Alex Trawler knocks it out of bounds. Sharks will retain possession. A quick throw in there. Abby Palkowitz again. Center midfielder. We've been calling her name a lot today. Premier on the break. Carrie Catrambone. Over to Brittany Webb. Nikita Sadatrafai making the defensive play right there for the Sharks. And now the Sharks looking to start the break. It's two on three. They don't have the numbers. Jessica Bacon, though, trying to get it to midfield. Looking for Maggie Lana down on the side. Ball being mocked around by Alex Trawler. And it's out of bounds. First time in a while that the Sharks have been on the premier side of the field, but that just goes to show Sharks have been playing good defense. No score in this one. Early on, first half action, Presidio Cup Championship, girls eight and under. This ball is going to roll out of bounds from midfield. Abby Palkowitz will inbound. Well, quickly stolen. And now the Sharks recover on defense. Taylor Hogan on the right side, looking to make something happen, looking to make a break here, but that's quickly stolen. Jessica Bacon knocks it out of bounds. Premier will take over from the corner.
And now the Premier looking to make something happen. Been on this side of the field a lot in this one. Moments into the first half of the championship game. Exciting time here. Rancho Penasquitos. Brittany Webb taking a shot, right-footed kicker. But that Sharks defense, you got to like that. And Coach Amy Literal barking out instructions from the sideline. She's got to like what she sees from the defense. Casey McKinnon on goal and quickly knocked away by Jessica Bacon. Saving the bacon, so to speak. Ball knocked in the center of the field. PQ Premier right there, right away. Alex Trawler. Stoppage of play here real quickly. Waiting to see what the referees are looking to sort out. Looks like the Sharks may be doing, may be doing a substitution. Coach Amy Literal calling over a couple of her players. That was number two, Jessica Cohen for the premiere coming out of this game. Nice round of applause. She appears to have gotten hit in the face. I'm sure she'll be back. She's tough. Action will continue here in a second. No score in this one. Referee's looking to sort things out. Coach of the Premier, Greg Lee, kind of wondering what's going on. Number 11, Alex Trawler going off the field, but she quickly returned. It's going to be a drop ball. And it's dropped on the Sharks' side. Quickly knocked out of bounds. Pace has slowed down a little bit now. Don't know which team will have the advantage because of that. Now we're quickly back in the action. A lot of activity at midfield here. Tim Scrub going around. Nikita Sadatrafai centering it out. Maggie Lana looking to make something happen along with Abby Palkowitz from the center midfield position. Marina Kemper trying to make something happen as well in the center of the field. This ball may trickle out of bounds, but Kerry Catrambone keeps it in bounds. The kick on goal is going to be stopped by Casey McKinnon. Her third stop already in this game. She kicks it out to Maggie Lana. And there goes Marina Kemper down the right side. She's got a couple people to beat. She can't center. It's quickly knocked out of bounds by Kimmy Stavos. Delmar Sharks looking to make the fast break right there, but Kimmy Stavos stymied that attempt. Still no score. Ball deep in the premier territory. Amy Literal commanding her troops on the field. The ball's back in play. Ball knocked away. There's number 20, Abby Palkowitz. Looking in, Maggie Lana trying to get in the action. Premier's defense stiffens up there, and the ball is knocked out of bounds. A lot of credit to the Premier defense right there. They were feeling the heat from the Sharks. Really the first real threat from the Sharks in this one, but they've been playing great defense. Premier already had three shots on goal. Nothing to show for it, though. Still no score in this one. Nicole Webb in for the premiere on a substitution. Nikita Sadatrafai kicking it around there. Playing good defense for the Sharks. Knocked out of bounds. And the Sharks now will have possession at midfield. Abby Palkowitz. Looking to inbounds, and she throws it off a defender. Now Tatum Abadir at the center field position, center midfielder. Almost like the quarterback on a football team. Hanging out in the center of the field, waiting for troops to get open. Maggie Lana on the left side of the field. She's maybe looking for someone to cut there, maybe looking for Marina Kemper, who was streaking down the center of the field. That premier defense, though, 
looking pretty good, looking pretty premier actually right there because if she hits uh, Marina Kemper streaking down, they're definitely going to have a shot on goal. Uh, now the throw in from the deep left corner. Tatum Abadir mixing up a little bit. She's the left midfielder. So we're going to call her name a lot. A transition type player. Now she's going to come out and take a breather. Kat Khaleesi will take her spot in the rotation. And Coach Literal says she's got a lot of players she can rotate in and out of this lineup. A lot of players are very versatile. That's going to suit this club team for a lot of years to come. Ball back in play. Here come the Premier. Got a three-on-three -three break, but a nice defensive play as the Sharks turn defense and offense. Here comes Maggie Lana on the break. Alex Trawler looking to get it out of there. And the ball is saved. Nice job by the goalkeeper, Presley Wiggins. She shoots it out there to midfield, showing some nice leg there. Maggie Lana again on the break. That's going to be a penalty. Offsides by the Sharks. Just like you'd find in a hockey game. In any sport you have, offsides, never a good penalty. It's the minor version of cheating, we like to say. Premier will take over. Still deep in their own territory. And on the attack, quickly taken away by Maggie Lana. And then it's quickly intercepted by Nicole Webb of the Premier. These two going at it, Webb and Lana. Webb gets the better of that one, but a penalty. Sharks will keep the possession. Free kick outside the box, Abby Palkowitz. Looking to center something, but it's it's intercepted. Premier on the break for just a short period of time before Jessica Bacon can stick her nose in there and get the ball out of there. She somehow keeps it in the field of play and finds Maggie Lana, who's streaking down the left side. But number 11, Alex Trawler, right there. And now Lana somehow escapes it. The shot on goal Stop Presley Wiggins. That's her second stop of the day couple of real nice goalkeepers going at it too. They are never underappreciated in the sport of soccer. And another attempt, Presley Wiggins there again. That was Jessica Bacon trying to catch the defense asleep. Presley Wiggins won't have any of it. Brittany Webb for the premier. Slipping and sliding, perhaps the field may be a little wet, although the weather's beautiful here. Jessica Bacon on the right side. She's got a three-on-three -three break looking to center something, but that ball is going to go out of bounds. That will be a goal kick. Real nice action in the first half of this game. We're seeing some good defense, some offensive threats, and some real nice work by both goalkeepers, Presley Wiggins and Casey McKinnon. What a nice job they're doing. Goal kick quickly goes out of bounds on the right side. Sharks will inbounds. Jessica Bacon, the toss in. Marina Kemper for the Sharks, finding Abby Palkowitz, finding Maggie Lana, but she's swarmed by a sea of red. The premier there, Danielle Kalowski. Looking to get it up the center of the field. And we have not seen the Premier on the shark side of the field in the past couple of minutes. They're looking to change things up too, but the Sharks playing really nice defense. Hey, Jesse! Jesse! I need someone on number three. I don't care who it is, but put someone on three. Three up, number nine, Inbounds. Throw in from the Premier. Quickly back in their territory. And Maggie Lana, if she can get a step. But number four, Sydney Scolari right there, along with number 11, Alex Trawler, knocking the ball quickly away. You get the feeling we're going to be calling Maggie Lana's name a lot more in this one. 
her and Jessica Bacon, both one on the left side, one on the right side. Boy, they are looking tough early. Remember, this is for the Presidio Cup Championship, Black Mountain Middle School and Rancho Penasquitos. Not a bad way to uh, end the tournament, a scoreless tie in the first half of this one. Sydney Scolari, the inbounds play, looking for something up the middle. Looks like she's got Alex Troller, but that ball's quickly kicked away. Tatum Abadir looking for Maggie Lana. And again, nothing really doing there. We're seeing some good defense by the Premier. They come in bunches. Maggie Lana, obviously one of the people they're targeting. They had four people on her on that drive. Sharks have been able to get two shots on goal. Both of those shots denied. Premier getting three shots on goal. All three of those denied as well. Corner kick for the Sharks. Sydney McNutt had that ball get by her. And now the Premier looking to make a break here. Nicole Webb centering it. And now they've got numbers four on three for the Premier. But it's quickly forward. It's the transition defense by the Sharks. Sydney Scolari just clears it out of bounds. She didn't want any part of that. That was a three on one break for the Sharks when just about a minute ago it looked like it was going to be the other way around with a premier had a four on three break. Nothing doing though on either side. Good transition defense by both clubs. Still no score in this one championship game. 0-0. Zero, zero. Goose egg apiece. Coach Literal checking on her players. She's now off the field. Jessica Bacon. Free toss in. She's got Tatum Abadir breaking towards the goal, but she chooses Abby Palkowitz in the corner. Ball's knocked away by Danielle Kalowski. Here's Abadir again in the corner, and she can't keep it in bounds. Again, from that corner, you're always looking for someone streaking down the middle of the field. And so far, it just hasn't been there for either club. Corner kick. Jessica Bacon again. Friends call her Jesse. She's trying to look for the middle of the field. Couldn't find it. Sharks will reset. And that's towards the right side of the field. Premier clear at Maggie Lana trying to get herself dirty. And now here come the Premier on the break up the left side. Ball knocked out of bounds right into the microphone pole. Doesn't affect my job. I keep on going. Number four, Sydney Sklari will throw it in. Number six, Nicole Webb is coming out of this game. Substitution we will get you who's coming in for her in just a second. And Sydney Scolari with the free toss in there. Carrie Catrambone on the left side. Intercepted by Sydney McNutt, who knocks it out of bounds. Kimmy Stavos is the player that came back in for the premier right there. And now we're going to get to see more of that Sharks defense as the Premier are in the attacking zone. Tatum Abadir, who we've called her name on offense as well. She's just trying to clear the ball out of there. And now Maggie Lana sprinting over there for the Sharks. She won't be able to get to it. It's Danielle Kalowski. And now Jessica Bacon. Maggie Lana looking to try to create some space, but there's no one on that side of the field. Go help her. Somebody help her. Ball stays in bounds. And now it's out of bounds. Kimmy Stavos throwing the ball in. Nice move by Brittany Webb of the Premier. 
but she is quickly stymied by number five there. That was Kat Khaleesi, who just uh, entered the game about five minutes ago. Boy, the, the ends on this field, both corners where all the action has really occurred, the defenses are just shutting each other down. And that's one of the things you see sometimes in soccer. Just like a lot of sports, good defense. If you got the good defense, awfully tough to score. Two championship caliber teams going at it today. It's Alex Trawler. Tatum Abadir sliding there to get the ball out of there. Here comes Marina Camper along the right side. Now she's got some numbers. Now penalty call. An obstruction call on the Sharks. That will turn the ball over to the Premier and Sydney Scolari. Ball kicked inbounds, looking for a friend, Carrie Catrambone. Now the premier coming down the left side. Brittany Webb, looking for the middle of the field, looking for Alex Trawler, finds her. Scooped up, Hallie Harbison. Getting awfully crowded by the net there, but the play, Casey McKinnon in goal, her fourth stop of the day, keeping this game knotted at zero. Casey kicks out, intercepted by Kerry Catrambone. <laughs> Halftime here in the championship game, Presidio Cup. No score between the Del Mar Sharks and the PQ Premier. We'll be right back with all the second half action. I'm Mark Prescott for George Langevin Productions. Welcome back. Second half action. Mark Prescott for George Langevin Productions. Presidio Cup Championship game. Girls 8 and under. PQ Premier and the Del Mar Sharks. No score. We're way past big speech time, as coaches would say. One half to find out who's going to be the champion of this year's Presidio Cup here. Beautiful day here. Black Mountain Middle School, Rancho Penasquitos, California. Premier start with the ball. Don't know what coaches said to the players at halftime, but you have to think that they both were very happy with the defenses of these teams. Four shots on goal for the Premier. Three for the Sharks. 
Result, no goals being scored. And as I mentioned, we're deadlocked at zero here. Premier will inbounds. And now, the Sharks going. Nice save right there. Presley Wiggins trying to center it for the premier. Kerry Catrambone looking in the middle of the field. And now Presley Wiggins, who was in goal in the first half, is now the midfielder. Number five. Premier going downhill, so to speak, on this side. Left to right, Sharks going right to left on your TV screen. Okay. Lily Wolfenson now in goal for the Sharks. Still waiting to hear who now is in goal for the Premier. As soon as we get that information, we'll pass it along to you. Nice job on the first half by Casey McKinnon, who was in goal for the Sharks. And that ball kicked out of bounds. Premier with a throw in. It's a penalty. We'll do it again. I believe she crossed the line. Sharks will take over. Casey McKinnon out of the goal now. Now she will making the toss in. No score, every possession valuable now. Ball quickly intercepted by Presley Wiggins, but now the Sharks on the attack. Here comes Maggie Lana, left side of the field. She's got one person to beat, and that ball is knocked out of bounds by Sydney Scalori. Sharks will keep the possession though. Casey McKinnon throwing in. And that ball's quickly intercepted. Nikita Sadatrafai trying to work it on the defensive side for the Sharks. And now here come the premier on the break, Jessica Cohen, who left the first half with an injury. She's obviously fine, coming down the left side, looking to center it. But right there, Sydney McNutt there to make the stop. And now the premier, though, find themselves with the ball. Carrie Catrambone on the right side. Will she have a shot on goal? She centers it. Quickly intercepted by Jacqueline Putnat. Number 12 for the Premier. Looking to make something happen. The ball quickly knocked away. And now it's kicked in. Now it is kicked in after some mayhem there. Some confusion. Waiting to see in the number on that one. I believe that was number five, Presley Wiggins. Knocking it through, getting it past Lily Wolfenson. And it looked like there was some confusion down there and perhaps uh, the Sharks missed a couple of the assignments. One nothing though now, Premier. After the ball kind of trickled to the right side and Wiggins was able to knock it through. Maggie Lana looking for Abby Palkowitz. Nikita Satatrafai now trying to head the ball. The ball quickly out of bounds. Premier taking over, as we mentioned, going left to right, a little bit downhill. Ball thrown in. Maggie Lana on the left side. She's got the break. Premier on there to knock it away, though. Nikita looking to get it in the middle of the field. Taylor Hogan 
for the Premier on the left side, trying to make a break, making something happen. Ball knocked out of bounds. The Premier will keep it. And that'll be number 11, Alex Trotter. Now they switch it up. Presley Wiggins will throw it in. Sydney McNutt mixing it up along with Jessica Bacon. And that ball is knocked out of bounds. The Sharks will keep it. We'll see how the Sharks head coach, Amy Literal, maybe changes her approach now that she's down 1 0. Her team's still playing very well, still a defensive struggle here at Black Mountain Middle School. Ideal conditions for soccer. 1-0 Premier as they inbounds deep in Sharks territory. And a nice save there. Lily Wolfenson for the Sharks making sure no mistakes get through there. No confusion at the edge of the goalie box. Kicking out to Maggie Lana. Ball is stolen by Sydney Scolari. Over to Carrie Catrambone. But Jessica Bacon there to clear it out of there. Taylor Hogan centering to Brittany Webb. Webb with an attempted shot on goal. Now she's going to try it again. But a wall of blue there to stop that one. The ball knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Premier. Ball cleared, looking for Lana up the left side, and she knocks it free. Go, Marina. Brittany Webb. Go, Maggie, go. Maggie Lana may be looking for one little step there. If she did, she would have been gone. On the right side of the field, the ball knocked out of bounds again by the Sharks. Sydney Scolari will throw in for the Premier. And she finds Carrie Catrambone. That will be a corner kick for the Premier. Presley Wiggins, obviously very versatile player. Three saves on goal in the first half now, an offensive force. She will be doing this corner kick here. Probably looking to center it. And she kicks it into the side of the goal. Coach Greg Lee of the Premier urging his team to stay aggressive. That's what he told me before the game, that his team was going to stay aggressive. They lost only one game all year. And the Del Mar Sharks in fifth place, beating the first place club though to get here. And their coach says this team is starting to peak. They're coming together. Again, we'll see if the strategy, if the game plan from Coach Amy Literal starts to change here as we get about midway through the second half. So far, so good. That goal, some confusion, and that led to a one nothing score, and sometimes that's all it takes in a soccer game, especially a championship game. Back to the action. Jessica Bacon able to stop it. Feeling the heavy pressure from Kerry Catrambo. Those two have had a couple battles today, haven't they? Brittany Webb looking to center it. Alex Trawler. Ball back into Premier territory. See if Maggie Lana can make a play. Maybe get a steal. Not able to do it just yet. Substitution. Here comes Tatum Abadir back in the game. Waiting to see who she who she's relieving. That was number 20, Abby Palkowitz. Called her name a lot. Center midfielder. She'll take a breather. Back on the field, a nice move, but Jessica Bacon, boy, dangerous position on the field right in front of her own goal, but she's able to get it out of there. That was number five, Presley Wiggins, putting the pressure on the Sharks' defense. And 
and it looks like a corner kick for the team in red from Penasquito. It's almost like a home game for them. Ball kicked in the middle of the field. Bacon and Sada Trafai clearing it for the Sharks. And can they keep it in bounds? They can't. That was Marina Kemper trying to keep the ball in play in the corner. That'll turn the ball back over to the Premier. And they'll set up shop from the corner again with a toss in. Looking for Maggie Lana on the right side. Oh, and she makes a nice move to get past one defender. Being marked closely. And now you have to wonder if Greg Lee will just maybe settle into that defense that he, that he imposed in the first half. Really bunching up when the ball gets on their side of the field. Trying to hang on to a one nothing lead. And at that point, if you can get something else, well, that could be icing on the cake. But again, we know the Sharks team, very aggressive. Keeping the ball on the premier side of the field now. They've been playing a lot of defense early on in the second half. Coach Literal knows. Team's going to have to get a couple shots on goal to make something happen. Now the Premier going to switch up who's going to toss the ball in. It looks like it's going to be Brittany Webb. This Premier team along with the Sharks team, two teams that have a lot of talent on display right now. That's Maggie Lana looking to get some space. Ball saved. Denied is Lana. Fourth shot on goal today. Middle of the field, Sada Trafai and Tatum Abadir getting some help from Jessica Bacon. But it's clear Jessica Cohen for the premier going to try to beat number nine, Sidney McNutt, to the ball. And instead, the two players bat the ball out of bounds. We'll see who takes over. It'll be the premier. It'll be Presley Wiggins throwing in. Jessica Cohen once again, trying to make something happen deep in the territory. Hopping around a little bit. She may have gotten tangled up with another player, maybe with Sydney McNutt. Those two going at it deep in the territory of the Sharks. And now the Premier on the attack again. Boy, nice move right there by Presley Wiggins. But not enough room. The ball's kicked out of bounds. Goal kick. Sidney McNutt with a free kick. Kick to the corner. And quickly shoots out of bounds. Back to the premier. The Premier looking to make some moves. That's Presley Wiggins, who's made a lot of good moves here in the second half. She is the one you may remember that scored the only goal in this game to put us where we stand right now. one nothing Premier over the Del Mar Sharks. Girls 8 and under championship game. They're playing for the whole ball of wax out here in Penasquitos today. Corner kick for the Premier. A lot of good athletes on the field today. A lot of good athletes, both teams. Full complement of talent today. While being knocked around. Some confusion there, and that's what led to the first premier goal. That's something Coach Literal's club is trying to avoid. Presley Wiggins looking to make something happen. Nothing there. And now the defense of the Sharks on display. Looking for Maggie Lana, who makes a move again. But just can now Maggie Lana again somehow regains control. Nice move. Looking for something in the middle, finding Jessica Bacon. 
Then looking for Marina Kemper. But there's that girl, Presley Wiggins, again. A move between two defenders. Jessica Bacon looking just to get it back out of play, and she does. So the Premier will keep control of the ball. Even though we saw some nice moves there by Marina Kemper and Jessica Bacon and Maggie Lana, but it was not meant to be. They didn't really get past midfield before Presley Wiggins made the nice move, knocked it out of bounds, and that's where we stand right now with the Premier getting the ball and checking on an injury right now, perhaps, is Coach Literal. one nothing Premier here in the championship game. Second half action, Black Mountain Middle School. I'm Mark Prescott for George Langevin Productions. Everybody appears to be A-OK. -okay. A lot of contact in soccer. Ball thrown in. Knocked quickly out of bounds by Nikita Satatrafai. But it must have knocked off a premier player because the Sharks are taking over. And, and they're, oh, and the kick there, that's going to be a foul on Maggie Lana against Maggie Lana. Boy, and we've seen her a lot today. She can just keep moving, can't she, Maggie Lana? Carrie Catrambone looking to clear it. Jessica Bacon looking to make the steal, and she does. Looking off the middle of the field, and that ball can't be saved. Jessica Bacon with the inbounds. Looking for Sada Trafai, finds her. That's Marina Kemper at midfield. Makes a nice move. Cleared quickly by Presley Wiggins, looking to turn it into a fast break. And number three, Hallie Harbison for the premiere just into the ball game. And already getting her name called as she was looking to make a play on the fast break. Quick inbounds. And now another player down for the Sharks, but I think she's all right. That was Nikita Satatrafai. She's up. She's fine. She's ready to keep playing. And looking to erase a 1-0 deficit. And now it looks like Coach Greg Lee, the premier, looking to make a substitution, but he doesn't do it just yet. Deep in the corner. Sada Trafai making the stop on defense, and Sidney McNutt clears it out of there. Premier hanging on to the ball and the lead. 1-0 as we get later and later in the second half of this one. The Premier one loss all season. The Sharks struggled early on in their season but started picking up momentum late. And lo and behold, they're in a champion situation, championship situation, and they're looking to make the most of it. Maggie Lana back on the field. Hit hard. Collision with Alex Trawler. Everybody's back up. Everybody appears to be fine. Jesse! Let's kick down the right side. Danielle Kalowski. And now fast break, three on one for the Premier, Haley Harbison. Uh, nice defense being played by the Sharks. Haley Harbison, middle of the field, looking to put a move on Casey McKinnon. Not going to happen. And that's number four, Sidney Scolari for the Premier, knocking the ball out of bounds. Looking to narrowly hold on to a 1-0 advantage in this game. Substitution. 
Number 20 coming in, Abby Palkowitz, along with number 8, Ali Negroni coming in. Number 5, Kat Khaleesi is back in. Wholesale changes for Coach Literal's club here. Going to make something happen. Sometimes those wholesale substitutions can lead to a spark. Ball knocked out of bounds. Premier will hang on to the ball. Number four, Sidney Scolari will be throwing the ball in. And it's back to Scolari. Can she keep it in bounds? Yes, she can. Yes, she can. Center of the field action. Ball deep in the Sharks' territory. Ball quickly cleared out of there by the Sharks. Substitution for the Premier. Danielle Kolowski is out. And that appears to be Nicole Webb, number six, coming back in. She had the center midfield position. Hoping to get the ball in the center of the field where she can have a shot on goal. That's Haley Harbison. Oh, cleared out of there nicely. Nice stop there. Lily Wolfenson, now the goalkeeper in the second half. She'll come to the edge of the goalie box and look for Maggie Lana or Jessica Bacon. Both of them covered. Ball is turned over back to the premier. Now Bacon looking to make a steal on Presley Wiggins. Abby Palkowitz looking for Maggie Lana. And nice play right there. Sydney McNutt on defense. Made a couple of nice stops here late in this game as the ball has gotten close to the shark side of the field near the goal. Giving her uh, goalkeeper friend Lily Wolfenson a little handout, a little help. That goal can appear awfully big sometimes. It's nice to have some friends there to give you a hand. Sydney McNutt again playing the good defense. And now they're looking in the center of the field for Maggie. They want a one-on-one -on -one isolation play for her. But now they've got numbers if they can find her in the center of the field. They can and carry Cat Trambone. Knocks it away as they were looking for Maggie Lana. Casey McKinnon looking on the right side of the field, looking to center it perhaps, and that ball goes out of bounds. Back to the premier. one nothing premier as we enter the final moments of this game. Haley Harbison looking, at, looking over for Carrie Catrambone. Will she keep it in bounds? Yes, she will. Working on Albie Palkowitz. Jessica Bacon in the goal box looking to clear it. And that ball stays in bounds. You know the Sharks are looking for Maggie Lana, number 10. Can't find that's number four, Sydney Scolari clearing it. Applause from the Premier bench because they know if Maggie Lana gets the ball in open space, we could have a tie ball game. Premier on the break, though, from the midfield stripe. Sydney McNutt clearing it back. Presley Wiggins with the interception. And let's see if they can keep it in bounds. They cannot. Number 13, Jessica Bacon. Can't keep it in bounds. They're going to kick it deep towards the edge of the goal box. Sydney McNutt out to Bacon. Bacon loses control of the ball. Back to the premier. one nothing game here. Final moments of the championship game for the Presidio Cup. Sydney McNutt hustling over along with Lily Wolfenson out of her goal position, but that ball is well out of bounds.
Greg Lee's team kind of playing a, a defense much like you see in football, kind of a prevent defense. A lot of the players just roaming, working on the clock, keeping the ball on the shark side of the field. And again, the ball is knocked out of bounds. Sharks have a lot of field to cover and not a lot of time, but this team, it's very tough substitution for the Sharks, it appears. Marina Kemper coming back in. Come on, Allie. And number eight, Allie Negroni coming off, and also number two, Jacqueline Putnat coming in. Carrie Catrambone on the right side, finding Presley Wiggins, but they cannot get a shot on goal. Stingy defense by the Sharks. Ball's out of bounds. Who's going to get it? That's the ball game. That is going to do it. Time runs out on the Sharks. And the Penasquitos Premier, the PQ Premier, the 2004 Presidio Cup champions for the eight and under girls division. What a great ball game. We know what the uh, Sharks did beating the first place team. They were a fifth place team. They got the championship game, played a great game, but the Premier just a little too tough. Presley Wiggins had the deflection. She scored the goal, the game-winning goal, as it turned out, in this one-nothing game. And the celebration, I'm sure, at some point will ensue. Very classy group of girls being coached by Greg Lee. And a team that has only lost one game all year. A team full of athletes, along with the Sharks team, a lot of good players, and a lot of time to develop them. And now they will shake hands with the Sharks. Coach Amy Literal of the Sharks got to be pleased with the performance of her girls today, even though they came up on the short end of the stick. She knows they'll definitely be back. They're a club team. That's their first year as a club team. This is a learning experience. And they shake hands, and everybody seems to be happy. The Sharks are excited about it, even though they lost this one. They know that this team has come a long way. So that's your final score, one nothing. The Premier win this ball game. For George Langevin Productions, I'm Mark Prescott. conditions and weather which are you're liking today and uh, like again like I said congratulations to both teams for making the finals all right it's a big feat to do it's such a small age and uh, you guys had a lot of soccer to go so congratulations to both of you okay Good job. okay so I'd like to invite the Sharks coach up and Amy. Just the hand out your Okay. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that this team played really, really well the whole tournament. Very tough team, very physical team. Um, they did a great job. They deserved to be here in the final, and, and toward the end of the game, they were playing really, really hard. They didn't give up, and that's what it takes to win a final. So you guys did a good job, so I want to give them a hand. These girls have come a long, long way from the beginning of the season. Um, we finished somewhere in the middle of the pack <clears throat> as far as league goes, but um, toward the end of the season, we're, we're tying and beating the first place teams. So they've come a long way. They've Never. worked really hard all season. And um, they, they actually deserve to be in the final above all the other teams as well. Uh, we could have had it maybe the first half. We had the momentum. The second half they did. So this game I thought could have gone either way. And um, they played very hard, and they earned a nice, fun trip for the whole team. So you guys did a good job. And uh, first, I'd like to bring up Cat. He did an awesome job for defense. All tournament. And then uh, Lily, who played goalkeeper today. Nikita. 
Same time, they're best friends too. Abby and Jessica, good job. Yeah. Yeah. start, I wanted to thank Mike and the uh, board at PQ for putting many hours of voluntary work to make these fields ready for uh, three weekends, thanks to all those guys. Uh, today's game is a great game. For these kids being seven, eight years old, I think they're playing some great soccer. I want to congratulate Amy and her Delmar Sharks, that was a great game today. First half, it was just wave after wave of blue jerseys coming at us. But I was pleased our defense could stand up to it, and uh, it only took one goal today. I think whoever scored that goal would have would have come out. But uh, great game on on both teams. And um, I know the Sharks love Amy. I've seen her under tens play, and I just want to take a minute. I saw them playing last week. They were, were going to play CV Manchester, and I was watching. And the team was doing its pre-game cheer, which is very important, but they were still getting their goalie dress. She was getting her gloves on and she missed the cheer. And the team was out in their positions, the referee was ready, but Amy saw the goalie was upset. So she called all the team in and they did that cheer again. And, and I think that shows the Del Mar Club how much Amy cares about these kids. That, that, was, uh, that was very nice. So, what do you want, red team? What do you want? Trophy! Okay. <laughs> okay, we've got some medals. Okay, Nicole, you come out first. Nicole. Okay, Haley. Haley, come Okay, Jesse, hiding at the back. Come on. Danielle. Okay, Sydney. Okay, where are we at? Kimmy. Kimmy. Okay, Alex. Alex. Okay, Presley. How about you two? Okay, Kelly.
Taylor, come on. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Mark Prescott, a little post-game edition of the Presidio Cup here with some members of the Del Mar Sharks. How you ladies doing then today? Good. Good. Go ahead and just tell me your first your name. Jacqueline. What's your last name? Putnet. How old are you? Seven. What position do you play? Hmm. Usually defense. Defense, huh? What number were you? What? Two. Number two? What's your favorite subject in school? Reading. Reading? How about the game today? What was what was it like playing out there, playing for uh, playing for a championship? Good. Good. That's it. Great. <laughs> Do you have any pets at home? I have a dog named Molly. Named Molly. Was she out here today? No. Did she ever get to come to soccer games? No. No, huh? Okay, go ahead and tell us your name. Abby. What's your last name, Abby? Pucklets. And what position did you play? Forward. Okay. What was your number? 20. Number 20. What did you think about the game today? I mean, you guys came up a little short, but what was it like out there? It was kind of hard. Defense, and we tried the hardest. Hardest. What do you guys do? Do you guys hang out a lot when you're not playing soccer together? Yeah. What do you guys like to do? Um, joke around. <laughs> what, what do you do when you're not playing soccer? you play any other sports? Yes. What do you play? <laughs> play tennis? Yeah. Okay. And go ahead and tell me your name. I'm Maggie. What's the last name, Maggie? Lana. And what position do you play? Forward with Abby. What, was your, what number do you wear? I'm 10. What did you think? You were running around a lot out there today. What was, that, uh, what was it like out there today? Well, it was hard, and we had to run a lot and chase them. And, yeah. What are you gonna do with your uh, What are you gonna do with your medal? I'm gonna put it somewhere that nobody can touch it. Where's that? Maybe around my bed. <laughs> What's your favorite subject in school? Uh, writing. writing. And playing. And recess and lunch. <laughs> All right, you guys stay put right here. We're gonna bring in some. We're gonna bring in. Who wants to? Who's gonna come next? All right, let's bring in, let's just bring in these three in the back. And we are back with some more players from the Sharks. Go ahead and tell us your name. Casey. What's your last name? McKinnon. And how old are you? Eight. What number do you wear out there? Um, 11. Yeah. And what position do you play? Forward. Forward. What was it like? At, I mean, I know you guys lost today, but what was it like playing it for a championship? Good. Good. What are you going to do with that medal you have there? Hanging up on my wall. Do you have a lot of other medals there? No, but I have trophies. Trophies? What kind of trophies do you have? Pro mostly softball. Yeah, softball. What other sports do you play? Do you play anything else besides soccer and softball? Yeah. What do you play? Softball. I mean, no. <laughs> I don't know. What's your favorite subject in school? Um, recess. Recess? What about lunch? You like lunch, too? Mm, yeah. All right. Go ahead and tell us your name. Sydney. What's your last name? McNutt. Okay, I called your name a lot. What was it like out there today? I mean, it was a tough game, but were you guys going to come back and get them next year? I mean, what's next for you guys? Um, I think um, PQ played good, but um, we can play better. What position did you play and which, what number do you? What number were you wearing? Um, I played sweeper, and I'm number nine. Okay. What do you like to do when you're not playing soccer? Um, I like to play with some of my friends. Yeah. What about school? What's your favorite subject in school? Probably science. What do you like about science? Um, this Tuesday we get to dissect a squid, and I like because it's pretty gross. Squid dissection. Now, what's your favorite food? <laughs> um, macaroni and cheese. You get to eat that a lot? All right. Go ahead and tell us your name. Allie. And your last name, Allie? Negroni. And what position do you play, and what number do you wear? Um, I play 
midfield and I'm number eight. Was it tough out there today? I mean, I know you guys you guys came a long way, but you lost. What? How what was it like playing with these guys out there today? How tough was it? I don't know. Was it tough? It was easy. What do you like doing when you're not playing soccer? Um, play soccer. That's all you do is play soccer. Okay. What about that medal? What are you gonna do with the medal? Hide in my room. Hide it in your room? Do you have any pets? What do you have? A dog. What's the dog's name? Sammy. What kind of dog is it? Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Ah, that's very nice dog. What's your favorite food? Um, pasta. Pasta. All right, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate you stopping by. Some of the members of uh, the Del Mar Sharks stopping by, dropping by for some time. Thanks a lot, guys. Back with uh, three more members of the Del Mar Sharks who played in the uh, Presidio Cup Championship today. Go ahead and tell us your name. Catherine. What's your last name, Catherine? Khaleesi. Khaleesi. What, what's your number and what position do you play? Fi My number is five and I play sort of defense. How was the game today? What was it like playing out there with your friends? It was fun, but we lost and it wasn't that good losing. Yeah. Are you sad that you lost? Yeah. What are you going to do with that medal? I'm going to keep it in a safe place. Like where? Like sort of in my closet where my, where my cleaner can't get it. What do you do when you're not playing soccer? What else do you like to do? Do you play other sports? Um, not really. I just go to school and read a book. What's your favorite subject? Math. Math? You good at math? Can you solve a lot of problems? Yeah. yeah. What else besides math do you like? Just writing. Just writing, huh? Favorite food? You got a favorite food? Um, I actually like a lot of food, but... Different foods? Pizza, um, spaghetti, and that's it. All right, thank you very much. Go ahead and tell us your name and your number and what position you play. Tatum. What's your last name? Abadir. And, uh, and what position do you play and what's your number? Uh, my number is four and she sort of spreads me all around in the field. And today's game, talk about talk about what happened out there. What was it like for you playing out there? It was hard. They were putting pressure on us a lot, and we had to chase them, and they were really fast. What do you like to do when you're not playing soccer? What else do you like to do? Well, I don't know. I just like going for the ball and having fun. Gymnastics. Do you do, you do gymnastics? What, else, what other sports do you play? I do gymnastics and soccer, and that's all. What about in school? What's your favorite subject in school? Art. Art. Can you draw good pictures? Yes. What about your favorite food? What, you have, what's your favorite food? I have all different kinds of foods, and I can't pick one kind. All right. What are you gonna do with your? Uh, what are you gonna do with that that tonight? <laughs> um. I don't know. What I'm gonna do with my medal. I'm gonna like hang it up somewhere. All right, sounds good. Okay, and go ahead and tell us your name. Lily Wolfenson. And you are, and you, what position do you play? I'm center mid. What, what number did you wear? Twelve. You were playing goalie and out, out in the field today. I well, wasn't playing out in the field today, but I like center mid. <laughs> you like playing goalie? Um, no, not really. How tough was it playing goalie today? What was, was it, were they, were they just really good, the other team? Or what, what was it like for you? Was it tough? Yeah. What made it tough? Um, they just kick really high, so I can't catch the ball when they kick it high. Do you have any pets at home? Um, yeah, I have a dog. What kind of dog do you have? A yellow lab. What's his name? Her name? His. What's his name? Cody. Cody. Do you get to play with him a lot? Yeah. What about your favorite food? Um, lasagna. Oh. Maybe you'll have some of that tonight, huh? No. Uh, all right, thanks a lot. And we'll be right back with more, some more players here in a second. Thanks a lot, guys. And back with a couple more players uh, from the Sharks. First of all, good job today. Go ahead and tell us your name and, and uh, your number and what position you play. Uh, my name's Nikita. Um, What's your last name? Sadat Rafi'i. Okay. Um, I normally play midfield or defense and goalie. Um, what was the game like today out there? It was tough. What made them so tough? Um, Did you have to run a lot? Yeah. Too much running? Yeah. Where do you go to school? Um, Adobe Bluffs. 
Yeah, what's your favorite subject in school? Um, I think reading and math. Reading and math? What do you like about math? Um, I don't know. Do you get to, what do you like to do when you're not playing soccer? What else do you like? Um, I like, um, really practicing soccer in my backyard. What do you guys, what do you guys do when you're not, are you guys all friends off the field too, all, all your teammates? What do you guys do when you're not, when you're not playing soccer together? Oh, uh, we normally go out for lunch and have play dates. Yeah, what's your favorite food when you go to lunch? Um, I don't know. Just anything? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What are you going to do with your medal? I'm going to hang it in my room with my other one. You got a lot of medals? Just, one, just another one. Just one other one? You'll get a lot more though, right? Alright. Okay, go ahead and tell us your name and your number and what position you play. Okay, my name's Marina Camper. Oh, my number is six and I play right mid. You were out there running around a lot today. How, how was it? Did you get a good enough workout? Were you running too much? What, what was the game like today? Well, it was really hard because they do really hard kicks. Hard kicks? Like straight, coming fast at you? Yeah. What about you? You were kicking it pretty hard though too, right? Yeah. What, uh, what school do you go to? Solana Highlands. And what's your favorite subject? Math. What kind of grades do you get? Well, they don't grade us. They don't grade you. Do you have a dog at home? Do you have any pets? A bearded dragon? Yeah. Tell us what it, what's it like hanging out with a bearded dragon? It's just like normal with a pet, but he doesn't walk around so much. What do you do when you're not playing soccer? What else do you like to do? I go and play outside. Outside? What do you like to do outside? Um, basketball. Just that? This it? Basketball? How about a favorite food? A chocolate sundae. Chocolate sundae. Maybe you'll get one tonight. All right, thanks a lot, guys. You can stay put right here. All right, thanks. Good, good seeing you guys. Back with the coaches in this one, the two ones going out at the Presidio Cup. First, uh, Coach Amy, we'll just call you that. Uh, you guys kind of came a long way this year. I mean, you, you lost to a pretty tough team. Looks like you had something maybe going in the first half, some momentum. Kind of talk about the flow of the game, what that was like for you. Yeah, the flow of the game has a lot to do with how, how what the outcome is. Um, because if you decide to do a substitution, it doesn't matter if you're putting in your best player at a time when the momentum's going, you can lose the game. Just because that one player is a step off um, just for a split second and, and then the game can, um, can go downhill from there. But <clears throat> we had the momentum the first half and I kept it like it was, although I had lots of subs on the sideline that were you know, more than good enough to play but couldn't get them in because of that momentum. Um, and then unfortunately we ran out of time in the first half. so. We couldn't really um, recover from that in the second half. Now, this is their first year as on a club team, right? Yes, it's their first year. Describe how far they've come maybe from the beginning of the season to to where they are now. I mean, the, the improvement must just be, be night and day at that age, right? Yeah, the, the, skill, is, the skill improvement is tremendous um, from the first time they came, you know, the first practice. And they're actually more aware of each other on the field, too because normally at this age they're, they're just kind of focused on, oh, ball, get it, go to the goal. But now they're kind of looking up, looking for passes, and seeing that that works for them. That, that's easier to pass than to take it all the way up the field dribbling. This team will be back though, right? Oh, yeah. We'll be back next season. We're going for all of it next season. First place. All right, thanks, Coach. Coach uh, Greg Lee, uh, congratulations on winning that. Your team looked like maybe the first half not as tough as that. Maybe they were kind of feeling out the Sharks a little bit. The Sharks were playing pretty tough. Second half, though, maybe a different story. What was the difference in the second half? Well, the first half, we, we came out not as I asked them to do. I, I wanted them to go aggressive, go for the ball, but the Sharks came right at us. We got going backwards. Defense had to stay up, and I, I was glad to get to halftime. Halftime, I said, if, if you want this, you, you got to look at each other and go out and get it. And there's a little bit of wind blowing today. It's, it's not real significant, but it is for the little ones. You can get some air behind the ball, and we, we managed to get going forward, and we, we got that momentum Amy was talking about, and we was uh, happy to get the goal when it happened. And I think if the Sharks had put one in in the first half, maybe that would have been enough for them.
Assess the progress, uh, like Amy did, of your team. I mean, what, what it's been like for them. You guys lost, a, was it one game all year? I mean, this team's pretty good, and they're only going to get better. I mean, how do, you, how do you keep them together? How do you keep them motivated? I know they're real young, but, but what does this team need to do to just to keep rolling? Well, we've got to, they've got to continue to work hard. They've got to realize that this isn't it. This is just a stepping stone. They have come a long way. Um, the surf, the sharks, um, a few of the under eight teams have all made astonishing progress and uh, I was a little worried going into the Christmas break we seemed to be losing the intensity I didn't know how they'd come back but the last weekend and this weekend they've stepped up pretty well so it's a case of getting through tryouts, assessing the talent and getting them back on the field next summer. Alright coaches, uh, we see a lot of people still want to talk to you so we'll let you get going. Thanks a lot, congratulations to you both. We'll see you both uh, back here hopefully next year. Thanks a lot. <laughs> and that's going to do it here from uh, Black Mountain Middle School, the Presidio Cup. Uh, PQ Premier beating the Del Mar Sharks. A good, real good ball game here. A 1-0 final. The PQ Premier win this one. They win the Presidio Cup. And as both coaches uh, had just mentioned, you know both of these teams will come back strong next year. We had a great time out here. I'm Mark Prescott for George Langevin Productions. We'll see you back here next time.